already do for an engine rebuild, a lot of times a Vanagon uh, makes a good conversion to a Subaru. Uh, the reason I didn't do that is because this was originally an air-cooled model. So there's quite a bit more work involved to, to actually do the conversion. So, you know, my thought was to keep it air-cooled because it's super simple and it's pretty pretty durable too. I mean, the reason they made the air-cooled engine was so that it could be driven in all sorts of conditions and not suffer from climate issues like very cold temperature or very hot temperature. The only fluid in the engine is the um, engine oil and uh, you know it takes pretty cold temperature for oil to become like a solid it's a low temperature but it's pretty easy to put a, an engine heater you know an electric heater or something to keep the oil warm enough so that it's liquid for that initial startup if you're living in a really cold environment so anyway let me get this uh, I'm making some white rice and uh, check that out. That's white. Making some white rice and we're steaming some potatoes. Both of the heads are new castings from AMC and I sent them down to a guy I believe in San Diego. I think he's in San Diego. It's been a while. Um, his name is Adrian. Adrian from Headflow Masters. I was super impressed with the quality of the machine work that he did. Um, and I was really impressed with um, his quick turnaround too. I mean, I don't think it was that long and it was during, the, uh, during December around the holidays when I contacted him um, and he did a quite a bit of work. He put better valve springs in, so stronger ones with a little um, stiffer. I mean, I guess that's the best way to describe. So, this, so we use stiffer springs. You know, you can't really like, you can't really rebuild an engine and get anywhere and if you're not gonna rebuild the, rebuild the cylinder heads. You know, when you tear it apart, you really become, you really admire how well the, the engine is made and just the, the simplicity of the design, yet how functional it is. So I was, I'm impressed by that. So, um... Is this getting too long, this video? Should I break it up into two pieces? Case was cleaned and a line board at the um, European Motor Works, I believe, or European something or other down in LA. Super nice guys. I had to ship the, uh, the case halves down there. The, the crankshaft was just polished. It was not machined. And I had, I got new cam bearings, I got all new bearings, I got an oil pump, oh that's right, I got some oil pump from European Motor Works. It's a type 1 oil pump, and it's been modified, I got the modification to make it work with the type 4 engine case. Because the stroke is 71 millimeter. Explain the camshaft. So I did use a web, web 73. Check out this tomato. This is an heirloom. This is a yellow heirloom tomato. These things, if you never have one, they're so good. You gotta try it. Where did I get to? Um, I got to the camshaft, Web 73, 104 duration grind, uh, overlap or whatever it is. Um, stock, that's right, I used the stock. Volkswagen, uh, Bosch, California emissioned system, and it works great. Um, it runs great. It idles just fine. 